Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguine, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are Sanguine owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dalia Margolis, a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Unscrupulous and opportunistic, Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. The Sanguine show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Mogolis, beautiful and brilliant. She is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. Step right in, sir. Enjoy your evening. That is Viktor Novikov, head of Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Quite the resume.
stop that. Stand up. Secure Peacock and Cobra, over. That Man, is Dahlia Margolis, supermodel turned spy master. All is good. I really can't thank you enough. our fingers that the half dozen power players, billionaires, and borderline supervillains upstairs are still in spending Can we do this at home? Ugh, fine. So what's this? Well done, Fortison. Victor Novikov is next. Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit. Hey, Miss Who are you again? How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite a scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. 
five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor! Good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the Jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone, anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet, fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia, so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get close to the virus. All right there.
That is Silvio Caruso. Target down. Next up, Francesca DeSantis. I need to know exactly what he looked like and what he was wearing. Didn't see his ugly face. Oh my god. Man, I'm here now and the area's clear. Oh, you gotta come and help. Please, you need to leave now for your own safety. I need to pat you down if you want to proceed. Checking a sound. Hang on. Hey, how's it going? Keep everything ship shape, all right? Damn. You go. Roger. That is Francesca DeSantis. Thank you. 
this field lab. We made it. The virus prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit. Dangerous compound. Warning, dangerous compound. Processing. Test sample and compatible. That's good. If somebody brought their senile hands or something, who's leaving stuff like this? Warning, temperature rising. The security's in the dark about the incident. A few of the company knew about the virus. Not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. <sighs> I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. I see I did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you mind? How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. 
take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. Then we're even. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder keg, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. How's your father? Doing well. Thanks for asking. <clears throat> okay. What? Work 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. Satan is even though he believed in the kind of 
Are you here to close the rest of Not big government. Gotta do is. Soldier. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Yeah, yeah, sure, of course. I just, just don't see the need for all the secrets. And you don't have to. The orders are What? You are
That is Klaus Strandberg, most wanted man in Morocco. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Uh, you okay? What the hell is happening? Things are heating up. Be advised. Compromised, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... This plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern, and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs> 